Hello everyone, DreadBC back once again with a uh, <laughs> an update to the most recent deck that I, I built, the uh, Dies to Sweepers Selesnia. Uh, as it turns out, it's pretty close to what is considered a high tier deck. <laughs> Uh, with a few a few changes. One, take out a bunch of the crappy creatures that essentially make it mono white splashing green for whatever reason. And uh, I mean, leaving the Adanto Vanguards, of course, because they just they win versus removal. Uh, I left in Land of War Elves, although they probably shouldn't be part of it. Anyway, take out a couple of those. Add a few of the token generating creatures. Add a few of the token generating cards and Song of Freya Lees. Some decks run three. I could run three. I thought two might be enough for now. Honestly, it might actually it might be better to switch out a druid of the cow for another song. You know what? We're gonna do that right now. Confirm the third. Don't need that druid anyway. Okay, so what we're looking at here is uh, the basics of a weenie deck with fewer than what you really want as far as finishers go. These are considered the finishers. Trostani Discordant um, is your, you know, your your anthem. It gives them all plus one, plus one. She generates tokens herself. Um, kind of like a, a cheap overrun, but she also makes creatures and is a 1-4 body on top of that. March of the Multitudes. I mean, read that card. You convoke it with all of the crap that you've been playing. You create all these soldiers with lifelink. But uh, you see that little, see that word starts with an I? That is an instant speed. That is insanely good. That is what takes this card from being a rare to a mythic. If this was a sorcery, it would be a rare. I mean, hands down. As an instant, it's almost too good to be mythic. Like, this thing is insane. From the white weenie deck, we borrowed a lot of cards for History of Banalia, because we have them. For Venerated Loxodon, because he's perfect for this. Hunted Witness survives that turn one shock, makes people not want to run turn one shock. He blocks big fatties and dies and comes right back. Legion's Landing speaks for itself. Flip it over and go the long game. Lanamar Elves, this is my sort of addition to it. Um... Missing a couple of things here and there, so if I can get a turn one land award, that's okay. That's fine. I mean, because it'll open up like a migration and a, a hunted witness or a legion's landing, something like that on turn two. Um, in case you missed it the first time, Song of Frey Elise, you play it, all of your creatures now tap for mana, the ones that you untapped with at least. So you can use this to sort of go token ball or weenie ball. <laughs> that's what we should call the deck, weenie ball. <laughs> That's awesome. Selesnia weenie ball. No, I gotta leave it as tokens. But <laughs> that's great. Oh man, I gotta remember that. And the final step on it is <laughs> it's the it's okay, as far as as far as these sagas go, the history of Banalia saga creates tokens, they have vigilance, they get plus two plus one till end of turn. If anyone knows me, anyone who plays magic knows me. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. That's permanent, by the way. That's amazing. <laughs> Those creatures gain Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible <laughs> until end of turn. <laughs> That's the most Brian thing ever put onto a Saga card. It's not the most Brian card ever printed. That might actually be Galta. Um, it's... <laughs> it, this, I did not ever read this card before because... I looked at it, I saw that it was an uncommon, I saw that it made your creatures tap for mana, and I was like, eh, if you're playing green, a lot of your creatures are going to tap for mana anyway. Didn't even read that last part, and my god, I just ignored the best part of it. <sighs> Imara, Soul of the Accord, is like, sh she is the, the handler for this elephant. Her and old Loxy here go together incredibly well. Tap her to Convoke. He, she gets a plus one, plus one counter, and creates a life linker. So, as a two-drop bear, two-two, also good. So, that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, moderate land base. I mean, I had two temple gardens and a sun petal, so I threw in two guild gates just for good measure. You never know. Um, there are plenty of times when you go turn one guild gate, and then turn two, you'll have a Lanawar and a hunted witness or something like that. 
But um, this is one of those decks where playing a Temple Garden on turn one, you will probably pay two life just because it's that fast. So do not skimp on the mana pool. Um, you'll probably, if you don't want to go with the budget version of this, run three of these and four of these. I'm not kidding. Like, if I could probably get four of them right now. I mean, I could, I could put the three into it right now. I just... That we've got a new set coming out, so I'm trying to hold on to them. And, you know, there's plenty of time between now and when Ravnica fades out that I might be able to get some more. So, uh, for now, let's play it as is. I've still got three more games. Sorry. Yeah, three more games uh, until the dailies are done. And then I'm going to probably retire for the evening. Uh, hopefully I can just win these back-to-back. -back. This deck has a pretty good win rate so far. Um, made a couple of minor changes. I had snub horns in there because a 3-3 three, three for 1 is great, but there are too many times that he just doesn't do anything and um, makes you overextend just to try and turn him into a 3-3. Three, three. I feel a Danto Vanguard is a better replacement for the snub horn. So, we're playing against King. Well, I didn't vote for him. Okay. So, turn one Lanowar, turn two, probably Amara. And if we, uh, if we draw one drop, it'll just go turn two Amara and then something else. But for now, we'll start with the uh, Lanowars. We don't need to play that because if we need to pay the two life later, we can. If we draw planes, we can just ignore that altogether. Opponent is showing Demir colors, and we indeed did not draw our planes. So we're going to pay the two life. Drop him, Mara. Lanowar Elves are going to do something they normally don't do and get in there on turn two. I love the art on the submerged boneyard. Okay. Amara did not make it. Stupid cards. God, who plays good cards now? Why? Um. Yeah, okay. Easy enough turn this time. Attack for one. Lanawar, Sapphire Migration, and uh, if he plays minus one, minus... Oh, no, he doesn't have the double black. Okay, disinformation. We discard a forest. And we're probably going to do March this turn in response to whatever he wants to do, so we're not going to tap anything. We're going to make him think that was a mistake. <laughs> disinformation, perfect, okay. So now we do this for five. Doesn't matter. Let's be different. Whoop. All right, make a bunch of dudes and wish him luck. Song of Frey Elise. Um, yeah, might as well play it because this guy seems like he wants to do a lot of making people discard. <laughs> it sounds like someone playing the damn drums. There it is. Okay. That's probably going to be game, set, and match for us. We are empty-handed. And uh, playing Legion's Landing. Yeah, this information campaign is a great card. Three-cost enchantment comes into play. It's an immediate two-card switch. Okay. We're calling it there. Yep, Ritual of Soot got us and got us good. That's just, uh, that's the nature of this deck. You know, you play against sweepers, you lose to sweepers. Remember the last one was called Dies to Sweepers, Selesnia? This one's not a whole lot better than that. I mean, I could play around it, but nah. It's after midnight. We're going for fast games, right? And I know the deck. I know the deck well enough to know that when someone plays a 6-6 six, six flying trample, it's game and set until, you know, they... I mean, I've got to have the board stay in order for that not to bother me. If he didn't have the Ritual of Soot, it was over for him. See, because I lost that game so badly, it's now searching for someone terrible to put me up against. That's probably not true.
Morshu versus Dread BC. Okay, so this is one of those times where the Selesnia Guild Gate being tapped is actually going to affect our play. But we'll keep it. Okay. Best draw for us right now would be like a Hunted Witness. Nope, not going to get it. So we're going to play Imara. Because if she untaps, she immediately gets advantage. If not, she eats a kill spell. The minus two, minus two kill spell is the one that I want to see out of his hand. Because that one can kill Adanto. Okay, thought Erasure is going to take care of Adanto most likely. I mean, he can get rid of one of the Sapperling migrations if he doesn't know how good Adanto Vanguard actually is. He should get rid of that one because I can't play two of these next turn. I can play Vanguard Llanowar. I can't play Sapperling Llanowar. Okay, he got rid of that. I have to draw Forest to play two spells this turn. But she turned sideways. Hooray! Alright. Surveils away a counter spell. Was that a counter spell? Yeah. Okay. Surveils away a creature spell. Or counter target creature. Um... Yeah, I mean, get in there. We could fray lease. That's still not going to do anything different. We're just going to sapperling migration. If he makes us discard at this point, it'll probably be the Lana War, because next turn I can song a fray lease and then kick a sapperling migration and then lose to a ritual of Sudera. <laughs> Something like that. It might be worth holding on to the Sapperling Migration just for that purpose. What we really want to draw is a Loxodon. If we can draw our venerated Lox... Okay, well, he's going to get rid of the... Yep. Oh, really? I thought that Thought Erasure was going to be taking Sapperling Migration there. But... Okay. Well... I'm going to go ahead and get him down. Because he's got to both kill all the creatures and get Sapperling Migration out of hand. Okay, there's Ritual of Soot. We need to draw land. We did not. So we're going to play this, and then next turn we can lock it on them. And that makes us immune to Ritual of Soot. Not immune, but less affected by it because he doesn't die to it. Okay. We fully expected that. Doom Whisperer. Uh, oh, neat. That works out really well. So, Adanto Vanguard. And then Convocity, Convocity, Convocity. So now if he attacks... He's staring down lots of damage. 10 coming in at him next turn. Sorry, 12 coming in at him next turn. And he's at 13. If he takes 12 next turn and he doesn't wipe the board, he loses. Yeah. This guy's really good. He only costs 5. God, that's so good. Remember when demons used to have a really big drawback? Like, if you control this guy during your upkeep, you lose half of your life rounded down. Or, if you don't discard two cards, he deals seven damage to you and you tap him and stuff like that. Demons used to actually have a drawback to him. Now people just play him because they can. Okay, so he graveyarded a land, no surprise. Well, no use holding on to a druid of the cow. If he wants to counter that, he's welcome to it. Um, 
no surprise, no attackers, because uh, that would just be a bad attack. All we're doing at this point is giving him time to draw another wipe spell, but um, we don't have a lot of choice. That's a bad attack to attack into a six. Okay, so the Loxodon dies, end of turn. No surprise. Yep. Cast down. This deck has become my absolute least favorite to play against, I think. I feel like... Uh, well... Let's see if he's got the spell pierce. Oh! That totally costs six, so I'm not going to be doing that that way. I'm smart. We're just going to do it like this plays around spell pierce. See, that's what we were doing. He couldn't spell pierce that. He thought about it, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, I guess he's not attacking. I don't know that we have any outs to double doom whisperer. All he's got to do is attack twice each turn. Or, he, all he's got to really do is attack for six. And then keep doing it. And anytime he feels like it, he can just pay a couple life. Surveil. Okay, I'll discard this card. He's going to draw a card. It's not going to be a ritual. Well, we're eventually going to build a board state here, ladies and gentlemen. He can counter it. I hope he does. I want him to get a counter spell out of hand. Okay, now we're talking. Sinister Sabotage. I'm fine with that. It brings disinformation back to his hand. He's got to spend at least three mana to draw another card next turn. And whereas if I had cards in hand, disinformation is a two for one. But as it stands now, it's just a pay three, draw a card, sorcery speed. Which is not a super strong play. And that's the main reason that we're playing our hand out every turn. When you see a disinformation campaign in play, you you don't just... I mean, if you've got a ton of lands, sure, you hold on to stuff. But if you're down to your last card and you can cast it, you gotta cast it. Otherwise, you know, it's just gonna sit there. Alright, destroy target creature. Let's see, if I pay the four... Oh no, that's exile. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay the four. Vraska's Contempt. Oh, what a card. What a time to be alive. We have basically no outs. Okay, so we're gonna play her. The only out that we have is... Really, him tapping out. I mean, if he taps out and we get a huge multitudes, we might could do it. Okay, that's playing into our hand a little bit. All right. He's surveilling. He can choose to put one in the graveyard, put two in the graveyard. If he puts them both on top, we're probably in bad shape. Okay, he, th he ditched another counterspell. That's good news. He left one on top. He's taking a second to think about it, so maybe it's not as devastating as we thought it would be. Eldest Reborn. Sack a creature. Alright. We will sack a creature. You got it. And then this will make us discard next turn automatically. History of Anolia. If he's got a negate, he better play it. Because guess what? We're not keeping it in hand. Okay. This guy should be attacking way more than he is. If I attack, I do lose creatures. I don't need to be doing that right now. I really need to survive until history triggers. Hopefully it will. Okay, I'll discard, discard once again. From mine, he can take the Loxodon. 
I mean, he could take an Amara too, I guess. From his... Has he played another creature? No. He's just running big fatties, it looks like. So, the only thing I can think he's going to grab is Loxodon, simply because it's got the most power. It's the best blocker out of my stuff. So, yeah, this is where the game ends. Actually, let's make him spend to get rid of this forest. Do I have a reason to hold on to this forest? Trust Donnie. Yeah. I have a reason to keep it in play. I don't need to be tapping my druid if I don't have to. All right. No attack. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, no attacks. So, ideal draw next turn would be Trustani, or I won't even say March of the Multitudes. I don't. I don't think March is a good draw right now. I think it's got to be a pump spell or a combat trick. Well, he's trying to kill something. It looks like. Okay, he's gonna exile the, one of the knights, save some damage next turn. He was looking to see which ones were knights, I'm guessing. Because this buffs Knigets. Alright, he's in my graveyard. Here comes the Loxodon. And now he should be attacking for six. What are you so afraid of? Let me guess. Hunted witnesses? Alright. Play the hunted witness past turn. Kill another creature. Because there's no reason to attack with a 4-3. He just blocks it with a 6-6 six, six and calls it a day. The only chance that we have now is to... Swarm. And every time he casts a Varaska's Contempt, he gains two life. <laughs> so it's just putting more and more out there. Well, there's that. Let's see if we can get this countered right quick. And we'll tap you, 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 you. We'll make you a little bigger too. Tap for Convoke, because I don't want you to use that mana. I love that ability back there. That that Selesnia emblem. So pretty. Alright. I'm done with this game. There's no reason to continue playing. He is just playing way too slowly. He's not attacking. He should have won that game way long ago. Might as well just move on to the next one. Forget that one even happened. This is a... If we're playing against control, this is bad. If we're not, it's okay at best. We'll see how it goes. I'm still learning the deck, so... Oh, wow. It's all fear and void. Ooh, it's just getting better and better. Okay. I love how it gives me the option to go ahead and pay for life before the end of my turn. Any other creature would just go into the next turn. Okay, so he's playing green... I am a little bit less fearful for what's going on now. So we play Amara. Attack. For three. Boom! End turn. Unfortunately, we didn't draw double white. I would have gladly used History of Benalia there. And I'm suddenly glad that we didn't. Okay. We'll play this guy. Gotta play this guy. This Barontodon is now threatening our history of Benalia. I have no reason to attack and pay for life. So, yeah. 
This guy is a Kasali Pride Mage. Sorta. That's actually not a bad idea to run those in a uh, in a mono green deck. Scry lands. Historic spells cost one less to cast. My goodness, what is this man doing? Well, this guy's a madman. Oh yeah, we're going to at least get a 2-2 two -two out of this history. And we're going to kill a 3-4 while we're at it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use up one of his mana. Make him sacrifice a 3-4 to kill the history. Maybe not. Maybe not. Karn. Hello, Karn. I honestly don't know what this guy's deck is all about. I'm guessing it's got... Yeah. Okay, so this guy's running an artifacts-type deck. I gotcha. I'm with you. I am picking up what you are putting down. And I'm going to draw lands. So we're just going to keep doing that. No use attacking for three. Paying the life for it. I could kill Karn, but honestly, I think we can outswarm him still. I need to, there needs to be an enchantment that allows her to tap for mana without it being the, um, Song of Raelys. Yeah, we're calling it here. But this is just, I mean, we have seven lands. So, playing again. Yeah, there's some things that this deck can't handle. Um, again, I'm not running the top tier version of it. Uh, the lands are worse. The lack of Trustanis for pumping, obviously way worse. And only one Multitudes, March of Multitudes. This is a little bit better. It's even got a combat trick. Uh, you know, I ran a couple of these and I, this is the first time I've seen one tonight. So, ETB tapped. Temple Garden, go. Carlos Vidas. Plains. Hunted Witness. Okay, if this is the White Weenie deck, we could be in trouble. Because that deck is very... Consistent. Okay, it looks like it so far. If he has two one drops, we'll know for sure. And if he attacks, we'll be taking one. Okay, this is not the typical one. We've got a Trostani now, so there's that. Let's play our Vanguard. And, um. Hey, Nikolai. We are going to pass turn there. Okay. Creates a 1-1 one, one vampire with lifelink. Yeah. No. I think it's worth it to just take the two at this point. Isn't it? No. Not at all. If he has the pump spell, fine. Let him waste it. Okay. So we paid for life, but what this does, this prevents his guy from surviving board sweeps. That's one less. Okay. He's got the history of Benalia. We have got problems on our hands. So, I think the only play... Only play we can do is uh, Adanto, Trostani. I'm sorry, Adanto and Song. Yeah, we'll do this. Because what we're trying to do, let our creatures tap for mana, not actually tap them for mana. 
the next turn play Trostani with our creatures, and then the turn after attack with the Pride of the Conquerors. I, that's yeah, we're not going to attack. All right, got yourself a two-two vigilance over there. Get out of here! Get 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 out of here! Pass to attackers. Yeah, that's all you should do. No blocks. Now watch us draw a land so we didn't actually need the Song of Frey at least this turn. What are you looking at there, homie? You're looking at something. Okay, Hunted Witness it is. Okay, that's good. So we go Legion's Landing. Creating a dude. Legion's Landing, creating a... There we go. Okay. Okay, creating a dude. A dude. Needs to be created. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Which one? Okay. We got our 1-1 one, one out of it. That's fine. So, we took one power off the board doing that. And, you know, the constant creating of uh, tokens. So, it was a good play. Okay. So, he gets... His guys get pumped. They are going to pump him up. He can't attack with a whole lot of fervor this turn, though. He's got another removal spell in hand. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do. Just attacking with the four threes, I'm guessing. We're going to take eight. Because I see no reason to block. Do we have a reason to block? Nope. We'll take the eight. Okay. Second main, show me your creature. Okay, that's good for him. So now we're about to wipe his board. Might as well play that because it's going to help trigger that. Next to combat, since they all have vigilance, trample, and indestructible, get on in there. We still have the city's blessing, 10 or more permanents, so this will give them all plus 2, plus 2. So depending on how he blocks, I don't know if this is going to be lethal or not, but it's going to be damn close. We're still going to gain a piss load of life, because all these life linkers are going to hit for 5. Okay. Hmm, that is only stop one of each of their damage. Ooh, he's running out of time to determine blockers. This is not ideal for Carlos Bibas. Okay. Okay. He's trying to kill it, I think. I don't think he realizes it's actually indestructible. Yeah. Vigilance Trample Indestructible. This is a bad block for him. Okay. Yep, I believe this is going to be game, set, and match. Because now we go... Just in the event that something terrible happens, we're going to tap our mana correctly. Make them all big McLarge huge. Redo our damage. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, 
That was just enough. Oh boy, that song of Freya Lee's. Let me tell you, underestimated card. <laughs> I love that thing. Tiana, ship's caretaker. Flying first strike when running from the battlefield. From the graveyard from the battlefield. Return it to its owner's hand. Ooh. That's an interesting creature. Like, obviously, it's way. It's just terrible for standard, but that's neat. She's an angel artificer. Interesting. Okay, we've got two more games to win. God, I hope they go faster in these last ones. I might actually... I'm going to add someone to this right quick. Hang on. Make a direct call on Discord. Yo. Hello, Joe. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. I'm going to share my stream with you, and I'm going to let you know we're actually recording right now, so... You have my consent. Hang on, let me turn you up, because I actually can hardly hear you there. Okay, that should be a little bit better. So what we're playing is a Selesnya Tokens deck. It's, um... It's okay. It's missing a couple of the mythics that really make it a powerhouse, but it's still got a lot of, uh... It's got a lot of speed to it, like... Well, maybe not speed, it just... Like, out of nowhere, all these little creatures just start smacking you in the face for terrible amounts. So this... Is it a cat base? What's that? No, Is no. I actually, cat? I actually don't run any of the cats. No, do I? No. No, I don't run any cats. This is a decent hand. We'll keep it. We'll say, uh, turn one, Legion's Landing. We may have to pay two life on turn two for the Vanguard to come out. Opponent's playing red. No shock on turn one. Oh my god. Pay the two life. Must be not playing a good deck. <laughs> Let's see if we can start gaining life. Does he have the shock? Yes, he does. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> turn, all right. All right. If we draw land, History of Benalia is going to be good news bears. Okay. okay. I think he's playing the uh, pre-made deck. I I, I highly doubt it personally, but um, I well, was actually able to get to a challenger ring uh, with the pre-mint. Very nice. I don't know if that's an actual ring, but we'll, we'll. I'm not sure either. I'll tell you what, though, attacking seems bad here, because next turn we can play another Legion's Landing, have five tokens out, and then pump them all. Okay, yeah, this guy's not playing a, a fair deck. He's just going to keep playing red stuff. Red's not fair. Hmm. What we really want to draw, ideally, is an untapped land next turn. Because then we can play History of Benali instead of a second Legion's Landing. Okay. Play the four life. This thing should not die. Song of Freilis is not an untapped land. So. But it makes you creatures. Eventually. Yeah. I can do that next turn and still play. Let's see what we're doing this turn. We're going to play the Legion's Landing. We're going to pick one. Doesn't matter. Then we're going to play our Loxo Down. Because Red has a really hard time dealing with creatures that just get bigger and bigger. And... Next to combat, yeah, we're just going to pass. Now if he wants to kill the Vanguard, I'm going to stop taking damage for it. 
but this gets them all out of Goblin Chain Whirler range. So he's going to lob it. Okay, lo is this going to be a two for one? Is this going to be a two for one? Oh my god. I, I don't like what he's doing so far. Wow. I will take that. I don't care if he did pump his Steamkin up and now he gets to swing for six. Okay, he's gonna swing for eight. He's doing I mean, better than uh, than he was. You got a life link so much back. So. Except exactly, I've got life link. So, oh man. Uh. Yeah. So the play is gonna be. I think you have to stay out of uh, burn ring. Get in for four. Loxodon. So now I will just throw this guy in front of his Steamkin if he doesn't use the mana from it. He's only got two cards in hand. Unless one of them is uh, Experimental Frenzy. I, I feel like one's definitely a land. I think he would have thrown it down already because he knows I'm not playing this card. There's Jaya. Okay. He used the mana from the Steamkin on Jaya. So is this going to be a uh, I can turn discard a card and draw that many cards? Oh, yeah. No. Oh. He's, gonna, he's just going to add. He doesn't want to discard. He likes the card in hand. Oh, he must have a um, Bane Fire. I like Jaya Ballard. Or Jaya Ballard. I don't know how it's pronounced. Can you imagine if Red had Convoke? Yeah, that'd be pretty nice. Nice. Be filthy. There's, Dude. uh, what is it? Legion. Okay, that oh, actually. I think that actually changes my play. Because I think what my play is going to be is going to be Plains, Song, Trustani, Swing with my Life Linkers. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do anything until 8. And then she only lasts you to, allows you to cast stuff from the graveyard. I'm at 9. Yep, we, this is what we're going to do for sure. Song of Frey Elise. Oh, Song of Frey Elise. Okay. Now we're going to create more life linkers. No. No. We are not doing that. Hang on. We're going to do it manually because it's going to tap the wrong shit. Add one mana of any color. We'll make it a blue. Trostani. Why did it... Did you see that shit? I did see that. It's not my freaking <laughs> vampire. It's not my open fucking land. Oh my god. I mean, oh Christ. Not the, uh, optimal play. No. I wanted to swing with my two three three life linkers this turn. <laughs> oh, we drew a land. Experimental frenzy. We saw this coming. Okay. So now he's got Jai to add more mana to his pool. Let's see what he plays. Worst case scenario is a Lava Coil on Trastani. Because he can't go face very hard right now. And we've still got a bunch of life linkers hanging back right now. Not the best I've ever seen. So we'll throw this life linker in front of. Does this have light? Is it a first strike? It does not. Okay, but he I could mean, give he it. Has... Whoa, no. Okay, if he's got something to give him first strike, whatever. So all he's done now is throw all his creatures away and throw the game. Okay. That did not seem like a good attack to me. I mean, unless he was doing daily quests, I don't know what that was. 
he's got a fine deck. What he was doing was okay. It's just not set up well for a deck like this one that has tokens with lifelink. You cannot burn creatures when someone is creating three creatures per card. You know, that, or two or three creatures per card. You I think gotta, the main problem was a couple of turns back, or a couple of turns back, you should have hit you in the face. Yeah. It shows not. Oh, man. See, if I draw planes, this is great. If I don't, I've got two plays. You know what? This doesn't count for anything. You've never missed a land drop. I've never missed a land drop. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm more likely to miss land drops when I keep shit like this. He went to five, though, so there is that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, now, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play that because I want my Lanamore out. That's fine, but I want a Danto Vanguard out against white, black, red. And then next turn we can land a war hunted witness. I love how it, it stops and gives you the. I was saying this earlier, but it, it stops and gives you the option to go ahead and pay for life before the end of your turn. <laughs> All right, look at that never missing land, dude. Nope. <laughs> you, you can even add two extra land to that with the elves. I could. I can go ahead and cast this right now and get in for extra. Let's do this. Uh, let's see what he does. I might have to pay for life here. He's got probably 19 kill spells in his hand. Oh, wait, go to damage. Pow! Okay, well, yeah. I made that play easy. Now if I draw a land, we're kicking a sapperling migration. Then the next turn, Tristani Discordant. And then the turn after that, Pride of Conquerors, or he's going to scoop it. Oh, that's good game. Good game. <laughs> well... I would be afraid of three damage every turn. First one. The whole point of doing this was to get to 15 wins. That was my 15th win. And we are... Ooh. Other legendary creatures get plus two, plus two. My, my brewing brain is just going crazy here on this one because I'm trying to think of what legendaries would be good with this that, are, that um, aren't the ones that haven't come out yet. Helm of the Host. Hmm. Wait a minute. Does the Helm of the Host create a non-legendary? It uh, breaks the legendary rule. Ooh. And... This well, has... I guess he might just make the one guy bigger and bigger and bigger. So. Hmm. Okay. See, I'm always trying to come up with new ideas for videos here, and that might be it. I'm calling this one now. Um, our rewards were ass. A couple of our games were even asser. But uh, we got it done. So, uh, any words when we sign out, Joe? Isn't he great, folks? Uh, <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Didn't mean to put you on the spot. This will be a hard edit, though. <laughs> no, I'm leaving it. We're fucking leaving it. And we're saying goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>